being able to create worksheets is kind of a big deal when you're using Excel. In fact, I would say you really definitely need to know how to make worksheets. A worksheet is where you enter and manipulate the data. We have been playing with workbooks before. Workbooks are the actual file, but worksheets are where you play with the actual data. A workbook must contain at least one worksheet. And you can change your active worksheet simply by clicking on the different tabs down here. Now, right now we only have one tab, but this will make sense in just a second. We need to make more worksheets. We can do this very simple. You see the little plus button right here? When I click on this, it will give me more worksheets. So let me click on it once, and now I've got a new worksheet. I've got sheet one. I'll click on that to make that active, and I have sheet two. I can also make new worksheets with a keyboard shortcut by hitting Shift and F11. And notice that just created a new worksheet. I can change the color of these worksheets, and this is something that you need to be able to do, by right-clicking on the tab, right-click, and go to Tab Color. And from here, I really can give it any color I want. So let's use some standard colors. I'll make this one red. I'll turn this one blue. And I'll turn this one, go, oh, we'll go purple. So notice that we have different colored tabs down here. Also, the names are kind of boring. They really don't tell us what's going on. We can rename the different worksheets by right-clicking on the tab and going to Rename. And here, I can enter any information that I want as far as naming this particular worksheet. I'm pretending I'm still in the classroom. We'll call this Period 1. Right-click, Rename, Period 2. Right-click, Rename, and Period 3. You can make new worksheets by clicking this little button here or using Shift F11. You can change the colors by right clicking on them, going to Tab Color, and you can rename them by right clicking on them and going to Rename. 